Hello, real fans, and welcome to another French Fry Trades Minecraft Trade Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building the locomotive for the Seven Stars Kyushu Trade, which is an ultra high end passenger train in Kyushu, Japan. And make sure you save plenty of room on the track behind it because we will be building this entire train. So, the first step here is to take out another brick wall, and we're going to put three of them across the bottom middle. Then, above that, we're going to put another brick block on the top center. Then, two nether brick stairs on either side of that block facing forward. Under the outside edges, we'll put another brick slab on each side. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to the second block. Delete the ones that we use for placement here. Under it, put a sideways dark oak fence gate and a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. Behind it here on the upper hip box, we need to get a nether brick slab on each outside edge and three nether brick blocks in the middle. I screwed up at first there and put polished blackstone, but we need a slab on each outside edge and three nether brick blocks across this middle, like that. On this top middle up here, we need to get an upside down forward facing oak wood stair on the center. So you have to put in a temporary block. Then two upside down nether brick stairs on either side of that. Then we can take out that temporary block. Above that, an oak plank in the center and two nether brick blocks on either side. Then above that, Two right side up forward facing nether brick stairs on each side and oak stair in the middle. Then we'll swing around behind here. On this bottom of each side we're going to do a single nether brick block. Then an upside down nether brick stair facing backwards coming off it. And then up here two rows of three polished black stone blocks. Then on each side we're going to do another brick block and a block of gold. Same thing over there. Then two, another brick on each side above it there. Then we'll come on top of the front here, one block behind these stairs. We're going to do two cyan stained glass, another brick, two more glass. Then another brick on each side behind it. Then above that, two more cyan glass, another brick, two more glass. In the center, another brick stair, and two cyan stained glass panes on either side to round out the windows there. Now come on the next block down, behind the back of this, get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, we're going to do a 3 by 4 of polished deep slate slabs coming back. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a skeleton skull on the sides of each of the four wheels. Then at the front of this, we're going to put a polished deep slate wall on the side of the truck here and here. At the back of it, we're going to do a sideways grindstone on each side. Then in this gap, we're going to put two horizontal lightning rods, like that. Then we're going to come above this here and we're going to do two layers of polished black stone on the top middle three down to the end of the truck then we're going to take out dark oak fence gates open them into the ends of the wheels here and also we need to open them into the ends of the wheels down under here then we're going to swing back behind this here and we'll take out smooth stone blocks here. On this next block back, we're going to do two rows of smooth stone, five wide, and then another layer of it. Then we'll put a polished black stone on this top middle here, and then a second one. We need to come under it. 
and we're going to take out blast furnaces here. We need to get a row of five blast furnaces coming across, but make sure the front face shows on each side. And then another row just like that. Then we'll come up top, crouch, and we're going to do another layer of blast furnaces that same way. Making sure the faces are pointed out to each side here. Then we can fill in each side of this with polished blackstone and that middle gap. And three across here. Then bring polished blackstone three wide down the top of these two boxes here. Just like that. Then we're going to skip one block forward from this down on the rails and get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hitbox, we're going to do a 3x3 of polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels on this end down here. Then, on the sides of the slabs, we're going to put a polished deep slate wall on each side. Same thing over here. Then a skeleton skull on the sides of all four of the wheels. And then a dark oak fence gate in the middle on each side. Above that, we're going to fill the top middle three with two layers of polished black stone coming down above the fence gates at this end. And same thing on this third layer. Then on the next block down behind this, we're going to do two rows of three polished deep slate blocks. Then two upside down polished deep slate stairs facing outward on either side. Then this next layer we'll cover with two rows of five polished deep slate and two rows of three polished blackstone on the top middle. Then we're going to skip one block back from this and we're gonna get two rows of five smooth stone blocks coming out to each side and then another layer then we'll fill in up here with polished black stone three wide and three wide on top of this to the end of it here then skip one block behind here down on the rails get an other right wheel on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, a three by four of polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here. And also into the ends of the wheels at this end down here. Then put a skeleton skull on the sides of all four of the wheels. At the back of the slab section, a polished deep slate wall on each side. At the front of it, a sideways grindstone on each side. Then we'll put two sideways end rods on each side like this. Then we'll come on this top middle three and fill in the top three wide. Down to the end of these fence gates. And the same thing on the third layer. Three wide with polished black stone. Then on this second layer, three polished black stone, three nether brick. Above it, two rows of three polished black stone. Then on the next block down in front of this here, we're going to put three nether brick walls on the bottom middle and another brick slab on the upper hip box of either side. Above it, another brick block in the middle, two right side up nether brick stairs on either side of that. Then come behind here on the side and put an upside down nether brick stair facing backward on each side like this. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, a dark oak fence gate and a dark oak fence gate on either side of it. Then on this top middle, an upside down oak stair, two upside down nether brick stairs on either side. Swing around the corner, another brick block in this corner here, and over here. 
on the next layer come around this corner with nether brick oak plank in the middle and around this corner with nether brick then up here an oak stair in the middle two nether brick stairs on either side and another brick behind it on each side then on the next block behind the stairs two light blue glass nether brick two light blue glass come behind here and at this level here we're gonna put a block of gold on each side then another brick above it then another another brick above it on each side then up here two light blue glass blocks another brick two light blue glass blocks up here another brick stair in the center and two light blue stained glass panes on either side to round off the windows now behind this cab here do a column of four nether brick on each side then come down to the cab at this end and do the same thing a column of four nether brick on each side now come down to the front cab that we started with right here we're gonna put a column of four upside down polished deep slate stairs same thing on this side four upside down stairs then we're gonna put a door on top on each side then right in front of the stairs up under here in this corner put another brick slab then at the level of the second stair down from the door we're gonna put three oak planks on each side then three nether brick above that on each side then another three nether brick one on each side of the top repeat the pattern over here and in this gap put a yellow shulker box on each side then three nether brick slabs under the oak planks come over here three slabs under these planks and one in this corner under the stair and actually I change my mind about these slabs come under here take out this slab this stair and these slabs and we're gonna replace them all with nether brick blocks sorry about that we'll repeat the process over here so take out this slab this stair put in nether brick blocks and change these slabs to nether brick blocks then we'll come down and work on this rear cab which does not have a side door so on each side here we're gonna do three nether brick and a light blue stained glass paint on top same thing here three nether brick light blue glass pane then behind it a three by three of nether brick then on top another brick on each side repeat it here so a three by three then another brick on each side and in these gaps put a yellow shulker box on each side here then I made a mistake up here we actually need to take out these bottom three and replace them with oak planks so three oak planks right here sorry about that same thing here three oak planks down here then underneath here a full row of nether brick to the front same thing here a full row of nether brick down to the end of this section then on the side of this polished blackstone we're gonna fill the rest of it here with oak planks all the way till it connects up up here and same thing on this side fill this side all with oak planks until it connects up back here on top of this aligned with the dark oak fence gates at each end of this middle set of wheels put deep slate tile walls and fill it in all the way across and we're gonna raise that up till it's four blocks high here just like that then copy the pattern exactly across to this side so deep slate tile walls in four blocks high just like that on the side with the rear cab that does not have a door we're gonna put two rows of three nether brick on each side 
then two coming up on each side of the top of it. Like that. Then we actually need to knock out these center nether bricks and this oak plank. We're going to put in three upside down polished deep slate stairs and a door. Do the same thing over here. Knock out these three. Three upside down polished deep slate stairs and a door. Then on the other side of these walls, we're going to do a three by four of nether brick. Same thing on this side, a three by four of nether brick. Then up here, we're going to put a column of four nether brick on each side. Come down here and a column of four nether brick on each side here and here. In this gap, we're going to put nether brick in a single layer across the bottom. Then two layers of deep slate tile walls on each side. And above that, a layer of cobbled deep slate. Enclose oak trap doors on the cobbled deep slate. Same thing over here. A row of cobbled deep slate. Close trap doors on it. Then we'll come down here. A layer of nether brick across the bottom of each side. Then two layers of deep slate tile walls. Then a layer of cobbled deep slate. And we'll close oak trap doors on the cobbled deep slate on top of both sides here. Now come on top of the windows, put a row of five nether brick stairs across here. Turn around the corner and go all the way down with outward facing nether brick stairs up here. Keep it coming all the way down to this other end. When we get above the windows, come around the corner so they're facing this way. Across here, come around this corner and fill this whole side up here with nether brick stairs. All the way up till it's completely enclosed up here. Then we're going to come in this middle section where this middle deep slate tile wall is and we're going to fill above that section three wide with polished blackstone up here. Then at each end we're going to make a plus shape with deep slate polished slabs for fans. Knock out the centers, put in cobbled deep slate and an oak trap door in the center above them. Then we can fill in the rest of this roof up here, three wide down to the end with nether brick blocks. And we'll do the same thing at the opposite side of this, so fill this whole gap in three wide down to the end with nether brick blocks here. Just like that. On this top center, three polished black stone walls like that. And we'll do the same thing down here. In the center, three polished black stone walls. Skip a block behind it, two rows of three oak trap doors, then a flower pot on either side behind it. Come up here, we'll do the same thing. Two rows of three oak trap doors, and a flower pot on each side behind that. Next, we're going to come detail this front end here. We're going to put two glow item frames on either side right here. On the outer ones, glowstone. And on the inner ones, redstone. Then above them, two oak fence gates sideways on either side. Then up here, a glow item frame on each side of the middle with glowstone. Then we're going to take out a ladder and put a ladder on this center block. Then we have to repeat the process for the cab at the other end. So come down here, 
We'll do a ladder on the center block. Two glow item frames on either side. Glowstone on the outer ones. Redstone on the inner ones. Then above them, two oak fence gates on either side. And up here, a glow item frame on either side of the middle with glowstone. Now we'll do the interior. And I couldn't find reference for the inside of this one. So we're just making this up as we go here. So we're going to come inside here. And we're going to take out another brick in the center and a light blue stained glass on either side so that window's flush. Do the same thing at this cab, glass on either side and another brick. Then we're going to switch over here and we're going to take out polish and a sight slabs. We're going to fill in under these windows here, three wide, and bring it back at that same level. And we're going to come three rows behind the door. Then we'll repeat it at this end. So come up under here with the slabs, fill it in three wide under the windows. And we'll bring it back here. Come five rows back behind the windows here. Then in the middle, we'll use polish andesite stairs to make a staircase coming down. And same thing in the middle at this end. Then up here, three slabs across here, a glow item frame on either side with end crystals, and a lever. Then turn around, and we'll put a seat in the center here for the engineer. On either side here, two blast furnaces. Then a door in the center. Then we'll come to the cab at this end. So same thing. Three slabs here, a glow item frame on either side with end crystals, and a lever in the center. Turn around, put in a seat. Then two blast furnaces on either side and make sure they're facing inward and a door in the center here. Then we're going to put a torch on each side of the cab so it's lit up at night. Come through here and we'll light the other cab. Same thing. In here we'll put a torch on each side. Then on each side of the stairs here we're going to do floor-to-ceiling columns of smokers, two of them on each side. And we'll repeat the process at this end. So next to the stairs on each side, two columns of smokers going floor-to-ceiling on each side of the stairs here. Then we're going to do the prime mover. So in the center, align with the center deep slate tile wall section, a full row of sideways anvils. Then above that, a full row of netherite. On the sides of the netherite, we're going to put a stone button on each block. Same thing over here. Then above the netherite, another full row of sideways anvils. Then up top, another full row of netherite up here. Then on the top middle, three polished deep slate walls coming off the prime mover. Same thing here. Under the end of the polished deep slate wall, we're going to do three smooth stone, then four smooth stone right here, and then in here, three brewing stands. We'll repeat it down here. So three smooth stone under this, then four, then three brewing stands right here. Then we'll light this compartment. So here we'll put a torch and on the other side then come down here put a torch here and on the other side put a torch up here and that completes the interior here so we're going to come back outside take out iron bars on either side of this door we're going to do a column of four iron bars coming up and then we have this other door same thing column of iron bars on either side of that then of course we'll do the other side column of iron bars here and here and one more door to go the column of iron bars here and here 
And I just realized we made a mistake with these doors. There's no way to get to them from the inside. So we're gonna take out the door and the top two stairs back here. Put the door on the bottom. Two nether brick above it. And we'll take out these top two iron bars on either side. That way you can actually reach that door from the interior. And we'll have to repeat it over here. So take out the door, the top two stairs. Put the door on the bottom here. Two nether brick above it. And take out the top two iron bars on either side here. Just like that. Sorry about that, guys. And there we have it. We've completed the locomotive for our Steven Stars Kyushu train. And like I said, make sure you leave a lot of room on the track behind it because we will be building this entire train in future videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.